Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and come with the Dream Believer, because that's who I am. Did you, th do you, did you thought that I forgot Doki Doki? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. You know what's creepy? Now, it just told me to... S don't forget to save Monica's file. So I've, I just made a backup from everyone, but I didn't... But I wasn't doing it for Sayori. I've, I wasn't thinking about it, so damn, so bad. But never mind. As I promised, we're gonna make a happy end after we finish it. Now, however, it goes. But definitely, we're gonna make a happy end. We're gonna restart the game. I guess deleting it, uh, deinstall, and install it again. I guess throughout that, uh, there should be every file back again. Or I think so. So let's go for. Wonderful philosophy, shiny excitement, ocean. Desire. Uh, imagination. So we go for fifty fifty. Peace. Fantasy. Um, thank you. Oh, happiness. Together. Oh, okay. Uh, no, not depression. No, no, no. Swimsuit. Okay. Uh, universe. Intellectual. Mm. Oh, passion. Waterfall. Uh, dream. I can dream. Glad to see you didn't run away from on us, huh? Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but... <coughs> I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <sighs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Dream. I hope this isn't overwhelming of commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustom accustomed to What is that? <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck? Oh, this game is creepy. For real. Ah, come, oh, come on, like he deserves in his leg. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Uh, I can't read it. This... Is the picture moving a little bit? It is, or? I mean, it is definitely moving. I mean, they are all getting bigger. I mean, everything. Good, good, good. Uh, this is creepy. Nats assert have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room, maybe? Something like that? Hmm. Uh, Natsuki finds herself stuck, stuck between saying Monica and manga. <clears throat> Swiftly defeated Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Dream. Well make sure to put your comfort first, okay? You shoot Natsuki with a disappoint oh you shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. <sighs> Man, this is so strange. 
Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking, or perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right to me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said uh, anything, I guess. Ah, no, it's not yet. It's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as, oh, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reached into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. But oh, it's cute that she brought us a book. But it's so strange that the view is getting closer and closer. Whoa. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I will like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll be definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. See? As I said. Getting closer again. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off sh sh some schedule to activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, sorry. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Huh. Meanwhile, Natsuki is megging around the clothes. I hear Natsuki utter an ex exasperated sigh from within the closed. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in here? Fuck you, Monica. That's so strange. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a, bud, a bunch of stacked books and, bo and boxes across she's the, she, sh the sh sh shelf. <laughs> manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written in your face. On your face. What's it supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki sna snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of mangas and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Now this game is moving, right? Oh, and this is cr strange. This game is crazy. Ah, uh, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Perfect girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass and the door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. 
That was the tone of your voice. But I will tell you one thing, Dream. Consider this as a... Don't judge a book. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Perfect Girls from the box. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shows the book right under my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceeding mo. Don't just stand there. Wah. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the clothes. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window seals. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Ch chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Ah, uh, why is that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. She <gasps> Don't say that! Don't make me feel weird about it! Uh, it was amazing everything when they cooked together and so on. It was cute and everything was serious. Everything was amazing too. Uh, Nansky crossed her arms and skulks an inch away from me. Sorry, I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space. While she hops, I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every, every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Huh? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can, I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining and not to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring enough for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? She's cute. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm? Hmm? Don't? Um... That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Would you not wrap it in? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want... Makes me want to punch them in the face. Um, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less friends who are also into it. True though. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. <laughs> but it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. But why? At least it's safe here in the club room. My dad keeps the beat shit out of me if you find out. Hmm. Ah, what the fuck is her dad? Yet Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ah, I just can't win, can I? Well, it would 
it's paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But which problems? Do you mean that they are being silly about your manga collection or so? Well, at least you're enjoying. But well, at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Hmm. Uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly Natsuki collapsed straight into me. Whoa. That's <laughs> out. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. What the f- Ah oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snat snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give him- <laughs> She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Dream. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Okay. For Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Ah, uh, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could. I have been doing other things. Uh huh? In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what... That's what I had in my mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're really supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha. Huh? Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. Dude. Oh, we are, we are happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? Ugh. Natsuki's retort gets caught in the throat. Uh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're, you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I said that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Uh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. She gonna make you if you don't? Isn't this the same poem as the first time? But it's it's much shorter. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high thinks that, that writing has to be all so Sophia's dick and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it's in your heart. 
but it's gone. I, I forgot. <laughs> um, I can despair. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from you, youngest on here. You know? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor, humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Uh, mm. Yuri stares at my poem. A minute passed more than enough time to finish reading. Um, oh, so sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um... It's fine, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. So is everything repeating but in different directions now, could it be? Because someone else is gonna get killed or so? No, someone else gonna get killed. Okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah, why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through. Ah, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Ah, I'm so sorry. You reverse her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's, it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter and they form it the two together. So yeah, it's everything the same now. If I'm not, but I'm still gonna read it because sometimes it's a little bit different. So don't want to miss any any notes or tips or so you know. The end result is that both the style and the expressions are weakened. Once she refines her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changed. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to write together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else is in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit based though. Based though? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to, to me, or Nat to Natsuki. Do you, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I would love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles extremely as if it it's rather if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this isn't this supposed to be literature club? Again, it's shorter. Ghost under the light. The tendril again. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bad thing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by seeking blue green. Oh, I don't know what it is of the future. A bath. 
palms breathing air of the present but living in the past the light flickers i flicker back uh, i'm sorry i have such terrible handwriting what i wasn't thinking that at all but it took you a long time to read well <clears throat> i just don't read script very often i actually think your handwriting is pretty huh? that's a relief also i like the poem even though it's short it was really descriptive it wasn't too, it wasn't too short i usually write longer poems not at all i'm really glad you liked it i'll be honest i'll be honest since it's our first time sharing i wanted to write something a little more mild something easy to digest i suppose are you into ghosts yuri <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about the ghost at all, Dream. Really? I must have totally missed the point. But I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that po poets often express their own thoughts, feelings and experience in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbol symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up the, on those things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Well, let's get to Monica. Hi, Jane. Having a good time so far? I am good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever had any suggestions for the club, like new activities or anything, or things we can do better i'm always listening oh yeah sure she does don't be afraid to bring things up okay all right i'll keep that in mind of course i'll be afraid to bring things up i'm much better off just going with the flow until i'm more settled in anyway want to share your poems with me it's kind of embarrassing but i guess i have to uh don't worry dream we're all a little embarrassed today, you know, but it's a sort of barrier that we will all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm, I like it, Dream. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you are interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. Okay. She will cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. What? Tell me this will fuck him up. Why is she? What is she? Is she like a, is she like a pet on animal that you can't? What? What is that? You can't even treat an animal pet like that. What is that? She should just go and live with us. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's small because her. Malnutrition is inter interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I'll see. Well, let's read it then. Oh, this still, still not very short. 
hole in wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused. I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Are they, or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrolling, playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right here. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Okay. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of poems. That is, a lot of poems have been putting a um, basis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, S yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets to fixate it on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long you will just get a big dark puddle of link so just move your hand and go with the flow that's my advice for today thanks for listening Phew. i guess that's everyone i glance around the room so what was now so normally we would now go home with sayori but she isn't there so what now it was a little the sound. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as, it's as if everyone is judging me for mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature clip after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly sheets of paper. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions exchange. Natsuki, I raw sorrow and frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? And did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. Oh, how can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? That thanks, but I really didn't come out nice at all um it sorry um well i do have a couple suggestions hmm? if i was looking for suggestion i could i would have asked someone who actually liked it which people did by the way monica liked it and dream did too so based on that i'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own first of all excuse me i appreciate the offer but i've spent a long time establishing my writing style I don't expect it to change any time soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Dream liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress. 
Oh, new member here. Yeah. This is not what I. Mm. You, you were just. You were stands up as well. Maybe you are just jealous that Dream appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberate, deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly curious. Uh, well, you know what? I was the one who spoops. Magically grew size bigger as soon as dreams started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! <laughs> taking taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Whoa, what was that? What is that? Me, look who's talking. You wanna be itchy, bitch? Itchy. Sorry that my lifestyle is so much for someone who is mental age to comprehend. See, just saying that the person. What is that? Uh oh. Need to keep people learn to get over themselves. What the fuck? If you want to prevent them from suppressing all this particular attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Wow, well, be careful you or you might cut yourself. And that edge, Yuri. Again, Yuri about cutting. Uh, is she cut her maybe? Oh, my bad, you already do. Don't see? Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Lord. Yeah, go on, that's... <laughs> that dream here, everything you really think. <sighs> I'm sure you will be head over heels for you after this. Uh, ah! Suddenly Yuri turns toward me as if she just noticed I was standing here. Dream? She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Um, how did it's but however I agree what Who do I agree? What if we go for Natsuki? Oh Oh, oh. What the fuck? <laughs> um, hey Jim, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Let me load that. Let me. I saved it. <laughs> ah, damn. Never mind. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We will go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh, some president. I am right. I can't even comfort my own club members, probably. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. <laughs> Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Hmm. So. She quickly runs away. Oh, don't cry. But here, yeah, but it looks like they are done. I didn't mean it. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? Uh, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Yuri or did. Dream, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Be 
Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow, completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. And the president, Sha should be the last one out. <laughs> I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Dream. It will be... It will just be embarrassing with you listening. <laughs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. Whoa. Whoa, what is it? Wow, what is this? Hold on, I, wanna, I just want to see something. What about... Ah, there she is. Okay. So, load the game. Loading, okay. We load this one again. We go for heart. Arms. Three. Imagination. Heartbeat. I wonder if it's gonna come now too or not. like also go for Yuri a little bit but I just can't Passes. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. I think the club from the usual she greets. Welcome back, Dream. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's was still hanging in the air a little bit. Um, Yuri glanced over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at the desk, and surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, 
Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. But yesterday, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally, mentally sound. Please don't think we are usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here for here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now you're apologizing? I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, dream, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you are such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around. And uh, sorry what I'm saying right now. I just... Have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri is clearly taken aback by, taken aback by how calm Natsuki is addressing her. N no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. No, it's stupid. But I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, not scared about yesterday. I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of these things I said. And I will do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez! Whatever on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Whatever on your, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? I'll accept your apology anyway. If it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kinda nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something or like that. Uh, I'll smile. No, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still in try, though. Hey, suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't bored or anything. Nah, well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Um, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh, that makes no sense though. I would have heard the bell ring at least. Must have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't afraid you played as music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, I must be require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will... That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Dream. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm sh not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the clothes. Dream. Um. Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Oh. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave me that book to me. 
Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She's fine. She's reading over there. See? Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Hey, that's not good. That is not good. What's the story about anyway? Well, mm, I look at the cover of the book. Book is titled Portrait of Markov. By the way, it's not a real book. Already searched it. Um, there's an Armenian's there's an Armenian's looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, basically, it's about the religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison, and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Uh oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Look, I mean, what's the thing about the limbs? That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so the dark turn came <laughs> from nowhere. Ah, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Dream? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy. She's so shy and reclusive on those, on the outside. But her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's the kind that challenge, challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When the har when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we are all evil. The fuck? That suddenly. I am rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets... What? What was there? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange, and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The last I can... the last I can... the least I can do is to listen. It's literature clip after all. Ah, that's... well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading. <laughs> Yes, I mean, you don't have to, but uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, that's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Um, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little ap apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. I, all right. I opened the book and started prolude. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not particularly a bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S Sorry! I was, I was just with it. What? What? That is so strange. You, you, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closed her own copy 
Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way. So instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn pages. Here. Yuri takes the left arm. That's cute. How can I... There it is. There we go. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and for four and fourth. So, fourth finger. Ah. I do the same thing with my right arm over the right side of the book. That way I turn page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we are hardly even i even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Oh, her eyes are... <laughs> are you ready? Huh? To turn the page? I'm oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. <laughs> I glance over at Yuri's face again and... Our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <laughs> That's okay, you're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me, yeah. Thanks. He no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page, instead I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turned it by my own validation. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? Oh... No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not at all. Really? I was just thinking... The way... She second guesses things she says and all that. Ah... Uh, that's not what you were talking about. Sorry. I, th I thought you mean something else. What the fuck? There is something about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Uh -huh. Yuri, are you feeling alright? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if, it fe as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anything. Oh, anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up practically, rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Dream? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say anything. I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no, not that, no, don't worry, I believe she's asleep. And in this case, we're gonna save this here. Just in case, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you buddy so much for watching. If you enjoyed it as much as I do, leave a like, subscribe, share it, and don't leave anything out. And as always, remember, dreams and truth, so what you to do, just believe in you. And don't ever forget you are amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Have a beautiful day, or night, whenever you're watching this.